Hi, I'm Julie Tatter from Skin Cognito Body Painting on behalf of Global Colors YouTube channel. This channel is full of everything face and body art from step-by-step -step tutorials to product reviews, special effects makeup and much more. But best of all, I get the opportunity to show you the beautiful Global Colors product range in action. So make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of this amazing free training. This week is another episode in our intermediate series, so let's get started. The Global Colors brushes you'll need for this design are the number four round brush, a half inch filbert brush, and a three quarter inch filbert brush. The Global Colors face paint you'll need are neon orange and regular orange. With a face painting sponge, we start basing the face and I like to mix together on the sponge the neon orange and the regular orange to make my own favorite personal orange. I'm also showing here an alternative method of applying the base, which is to use the three quarter inch filbert brush. This way you can get a much more precise placement of the color. And blending all that through with a face painting sponge, which has also been loaded in a mixture of that neon orange and regular orange. To get it under the lash line, just use your sponge and ask your model to look up to move those lashes out of the way. We're now going to take some neon yellow and place it on the cheekbones, the inner part of those ears and down the nose. To blend the edges in, we're going to flip the sponge over to its original side which still has orange paint on it. We keep flipping the sponge from yellow to orange, yellow to orange until you've got a suitable blend. This yellow is just going to give a little bit of a pop to those higher raised areas of the face. We now take some black paint on a round number four brush and outline the whole area. A little tip when painting big long lines like this is to focus your eyes on the point towards which you are painting, not on the tip of the brush itself. This will give you more control and lead to a more straight line. We're just going to draw in some lines here which are later going to become ears and we're also going to put in the outline of the nose. I always like the nose to dip down in the middle. I think it looks a bit more effective. Now we're gonna fill that all in and inside the nostrils. Taking a half inch filbert brush, we're now going to drag blend the edges of the whole perimeter of that shape. If you're not familiar with drag blending, I really suggest you pop over to the tutorial on that subject on our channel, as it's a really critical skill for face painting. Basically what it means in this instance is to pull in the very inner part of that black line towards the orange, just like a feathery gradient between black and orange. We're going to also shade inside the ears to give some dimension and go around the whole of the other side of the face. Now we're going to take a round number four brush and do some squiggly lines to give some patterning to the forehead. For that beautiful cat's eye look, we're going to line the upper lid with a number four round brush in black and blend it through with our half inch filbert. We'll then go back to our number four round to create a wing at the edge of the eye. We'll then draw the line from the center of the eye down the face and fill it in to create that real almond cat's eye look. Young children might not like you painting under their eyes, so you can always leave it with just the upper lid for younger kids. So we're just going to repeat that on the other eye. We're going to line the upper lid, blend it in with our filbert. Extend out that wing, drop the line down from the center and fill in to create an almond shape. So I have a bit of a confession to make. I had a blonde moment and forgot to turn the video on for this next section of the makeover. So we're going to pause here for a moment. The part we're missing is where I took a three quarter inch filbert brush and some white global colors face paint and painted in my top lip. This forms the tiger's muzzle. So back to the video. We now paint an inverted triangle just under the nose, continuing down with a thin line and then a tiny triangle on the top lip. We paint the center of the bottom lip, leaving the edges clear so we can paint in some fangs later. Then we round out the edges of the muzzles to give dimension. Next, using white face paint, we draw teardrops to make fangs at the clean edges of the mouth. We then add really fine lines under each of the eyes, being careful not to paint over the black line that's already there. Then a quick highlight on each of the ears and a swish of shine on the nose. 
Next it's time for our tiger stripes. Now if you haven't done tiger stripes before, be sure to watch the tutorial in the beginner's series on our channel. We start with two V-shaped tiger stripes on the bridge of the nose and continue on with two more on each of the cheeks. You'll notice I keep turning my head to make sure that the design is symmetrical. Now the placement of these tiger stripes is really something you'll probably want to make your own based on the shape of the person's face, the size of their forehead and that type of thing. But my general tip would be to keep everything as symmetrical as possible and all your angles pointing towards a central focal point. And keep a good balance of the V-shaped tiger stripes and what I call the double-ended tiger stripes which we're about to see in a moment. So here's one of those double-ended tiger stripes now and another V and another double-ended on both sides. Next we're going to paint three little dots in decreasing sizes towards the centre of the muzzle. Another row of those and repeat on the other side. You can also see that we've outlined our fangs in a very fine line of black and now we're adding mascara. With very controlled fine lines, we now add three little bottom lashes to the outer corner of each eye in black and go back and highlight them in white to make them really pop. Using the same brush, I now take some white paint and apply it down the nose. Over the top, I then add some neon yellow on my sponge and then flip it over and blend it in with the orange that's already on the other side of my sponge. I'm doing this so that I can have some fresh wet paint to stick this glitter. If you have a bit of glitter fall down, just touch it up with a round brush. Next, load up some white paint on a clean round brush and wipe most of it off on your hand. You just want to leave a really fine dusting of paint on the brush. Then just lightly brush over each of your tiger stripes. The idea is to leave a really feathery gradient of a highlight rather than a harsh white dot. Also try not to add white all over your black line. Make sure you can still see the black line around the edges. Add it to the patterning on the top of the forehead and next I'm going to show you an alternative lip. Remove the black from the center of the lip and replace it with global pearl red. Add glitter and voila, you're a tiger. Wow. Hey guys, thanks for watching this tutorial and we hope you got a lot out of it. Don't forget, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up so that we get to learn what you like. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to write them in the comments box below and we will address those in a special episode coming up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our future episodes. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. See you.